What's up, everybody? I'm back with some more reacting to undiscovered musicians. For those of you wondering who is this crazy black dude on your screen, I'm Professor T. I'm a former semi-professional music uh, producer and musician. And uh, before COVID, I used to do a lot more stuff. And now that things are settling out here in New York, I'm going to do some more of it real soon. But this is a project that I have where we scout out, assess, and then eventually endorse DIY musicians. So I'll give you more information about that and everything that's changed with the channel after the video is over, because I know y'all don't want to hear me talk. Y'all want to get to the point or else you go click off. So today we're checking out the homie Mike Owens, uh, the Facebook group, and we're going to check out his new song. I didn't see a title of it. So without any further ado, before I lose you all, let's uh, go into it and listen to how it sounds. So the photo is a little zoomed in. I'm, I'm using my laptop instead of like my usual setup, which has been so frustrating. I, it, I was trying to save time by using my laptop, but I probably could have had all that hooked up back there behind me at the time it's taken to figure out the settings for this. And then now we got this, but it is what it is for the love. Got a little guitar track. Let me turn it up a little bit. I like it kind of quiet, you know what I'm saying? Is that too loud? We got kind of a little rock vibe going on. We'll turn up the volume of my computer. Hopefully things don't explode. I hear it a little bit louder. It's going to First thing that comes to mind, I get like some ZZ Top vibes. So I read some background on this. He posted this song. I'm just doing this as a review for the love because he kind this kind of isn't a release. He said he just finished it and wanted opinions on it. But, you know, this is a Facebook group right here. That's, you know, Gen X. Well, I did one of her tracks before she does. So I wanted to, you know, spread the love. You know, do feature a whole video because I was feeling the song and I wanted to listen to it, which I'll give my feedback on it. Ooh, okay. So this song also is not mastered, as you can tell. So that also would make it a little bit louder and more clear. I'm curious of something. That drum sound. It's not perfectly locked on the beat, but like it sounds like a very electronic. Is that like an electronic drum sound? It's like, you know what else it makes me think of with the vocal style, how it's more soft spoken. It makes me think of Johnny Cash. That's the other thing that came to mind. I'm trying to change settings here during the joint. This is a bad idea. I think this is the end. Is it a little bit more? Is there stuff? Wait. I think it's about to go in again. Hold up. We about to go in a second time on them. I just changed the entire beat of the song. It got soft and slow now. Is that the end? No, it comes back. Okay, that's what I was thinking. It came back with it. Turned him around, was 
Nice, man. Well, I like this part here too. The outro was nice. So this part here is cool. How it's just like this real soft, like acoustic guitar, I think. See, the acoustic are just like the most amazing, clean guitar sound I've ever heard. All right, bring it back to me. Bring it back to my pretty face, full screen. All right. So, that was my boy, Mike Owens. I never met the man, but he's a, he's a good man. I could tell by the music because the music was good. So, I like it already. So, my first impressions of it. Um, I did listen to this song already. So, this is my second time. So, my first impressions of it. For the fact that he said that he was completely self-taught. And, you know, I'm assuming he doesn't do this all the time. This is a really, really good effort. Like, the, the songwriting and the performance, it was all there. Everything was really good. The vocal performance, I thought, was good. Because the vocals, it had kind of this, like, haunting quality about it that I thought just made it unique and special. And then the, the way that, like, the retar guitars and everything is recorded... You know, it's um, it's obviously not super crispy like it's a professional studio where it was going, but it still is pretty. It sounds good. Like you could tell there was effort put into this. It wasn't just thrown together. So, hey, that was my first impressions of this song. I like this. So, Mike, keep up the good work. Keep at it. Now it's time for uh my favorite part of the video, the part that some people don't like, is the crit the critique section of the video. So for the critiques, I don't really have that many critiques because I like what you're doing. And when I do the critiques, it's, it's not based on my opinion. It's based on my own actual professional musical training and experience when it comes to making this stuff happen. I've worked with a lot of different artists that have done a lot of different genres, both live and in the studio. And what I would say is that um, for this one, my critiques is just the mixing and whatnot of it that part could be improved upon like i said this it doesn't sound like it was mastered it probably wasn't um so you know if it was mastered it would be that would make it louder and more consistent with the volume and then for the mix the vocals i think could have been more present um if it's like a song that i mix i got me a fiverr account now by the way go on there on fiverr look me up i think it's the same as youtube the power is back off topic back on the topic um if I were mixing this, I would make the vocals a lot more present. Um, and that, that's why I would say is uh, my critique. And also, maybe it's just a taste too much reverb on the little background vocals that came in. It made it sound a little bit washed out on the mixing aspect of it. On the performance aspect of it, I thought everything was really, really good. On the vocals, like I said, I liked that haunting quality that you had about it. But the way that I think the vocals could be improved upon... It it kind of has that quality that it's a little bit timid, you know. It's a little bit because this is this is the thing. You can be soft spoken, but you don't. It doesn't necessarily equal timid. You can be soft spoken and kind of have like a haunting quality, but like a listen up, listen up, guys. I'm telling you guys a secret. I'm telling you guys a real important story right now. I want you to listen. This is important. You know, you can kind of do something like that. That's the kind of vocal tone and quality that you want so you know that's um what my critiques are on that but 
that was it for the critique section. You did a great job on this. Now it's time for my favorite part. It's getting super late at night because I'll all it took for the laptop. But I'm going to go for it and make my neighbors mad. We're going to the Professor T. Wait, hold up. I don't have the explosion on. That is Professor T. Real short part. And we're going to see where I did I rank this one. So this isn't as fancy. Sorry for no bells of whistles. In a few weeks when I record the next batch of these, I'll have the big computer set up behind me. Look at the uh, screensaver going on. All right. So I'll put in a song on the Billboard chart, even though I know this isn't an official release for the love. So Mike Owens, I don't know what the title is. So I'll just put your name. You're at number 28 on the Billboard chart. And this is out of like about 50 things by now. So like that's actually pretty good. And it's going to get more and more as the year goes on. The progress of these slowed down because I'm not doing them daily anymore. I'm doing just a couple per week. But you're right behind um, Law of Attraction right above Corey James Dreaming. Go and check out those videos and listen to those songs. And um, let me got, give you guys just a quick update on who's the top of the Billboard chart currently if this will uh, allow me to do that so above number three which is what you guys see we still have geek and taylor jones back to love they're saying they're cheating they're that's uh ringers right there number two is jay pickett loving you so you can't see that it's cut off on the screen i'm too lazy to do something about it you got henrik oh my bad i'm skipping people three is kajira i don't mind still four is draco extra freestyle five is Henrik stressed out still. So that's the Professor T billboard chart. So we're going to bring it back to me and see if I remember how to do the outro because it's been a hot minute. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you for watching this. And I'm going to do the outro now that I'm going to talk some more. So for everybody that's done hearing me talk, appreciate you guys watching. And to Mike Owens, to all you watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song and I hope all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you. And I'll see you on the next review. All right. For all the friends and family and all the people that are the living legends here. Thank you for sticking around for a little bit longer. So as you notice, there's been some changes to the channel. Like, we're like, what's up with all the tie-dye and flowers, Professor T? And how come this is a different name? What's going on? What is Powered by Vibes? Well, Powered by Vibes, that is my new company that I'm starting that I'm excited to tell you guys a little bit about right now. So what we're doing with that, this is a company where the mission statement is we're scouting, assessing, developing, and eventually endorsing musicians. So we're actually scouting out local musicians. I've already traveled and checked this out. So we got let me give you guys a little tour of the site real quick. So this is what Powered by Vibes site looks like. As you can see, you got the monthly playlist. This will be updated Monday. So hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this on Monday uh, night, this will be updated. So as you can see, we got some uh, feature music here. Some of the people you see featured have been right on this channel. That's the theme that will be that will continue. We have the featured artist page. These are artists that I've reached out to and we've done interviews on Motika, close friend of mine. Then you got the home page where you've got the articles. So definitely guys make sure you go check out the powerisback.com. Right now we also have the endorsed artist page. You see me, I'm really the only endorsed artist at the moment. But we plan on increasing that in the future. Click on the endorsed artist. They got a page. You can get the merch. You can listen to the music. You can buy the songs. So definitely, guys, I hope that you take a moment to go check that out. That's something I'm very excited about. It's a project I'm working on. I'm looking for to start off with just one more person, one more volunteer. That's the key word, volunteer. This is a startup thing just for the love who could um, trade off with me and every other week write an article about a local musician or something that has to do with DIY music on the site. So I'm first reaching out to people I know personally, but I'm putting it out on the YouTube space for any of you that may be interested in joining the Powered by Vibes team. Please leave a comment below or reach out to me on Instagram at the power is back. And we can uh, talk about that and get everything worked out. So 
that's what's going on. And then if you wonder where I've been lately, I've had changes in my life for one thing. See, what happens a lot of times when I would go and play music before COVID, people would tell me, don't quit my day job. I didn't have to quit it because I got laid off. So I had free time to start the Powered by Vibe site and to do a lot of these videos. And then my computer broke and I was out of work, so I couldn't afford to get another one. Now, I was able to afford to get another computer because I have a new day job for people to tell me not to quit. So the stresses of just getting settled into my new job and the change in the schedule, as well as I'm working on my own music again, finally. I'm making a new project that I'm excited to tell you guys about soon. That will be a write-up on this upcoming Friday on the Powered by Vibes website if you'd like to read that. And I'll have a video here as well about it. So that's where I've been. I've just been busy with adjusting to uh, starting a new career as well as um, adjusting to uh, making my new album and trying to find time for that. Anybody that's curious about my career, I'll tell you, it's a career you probably would ever guess. My new career is actually working with crash testing cars. So I get to do AV at this job, but instead of recording music, I'm recording cars crashing into each other so that we can calculate if it's going to be safe or not. So quite an interesting job. I'm excited to learn more about it. I'm, it's already something I've been very interested in and pay is decent. So that means I can pay my bills and not starve. So I'm happy for that. So yeah, but of course, like, of course, as everyone knows, as a musician, you, whenever you have to get a day job or you have to get a job that requires more hours because we can't go out and play to get that supplemental income anymore, it, it's an adjustment. So definitely uh, appreciate all you guys' love and kind thoughts on me doing well with that. And also, I hope that a lot of you guys come and check out my new album. So with that, that's enough talking you guys' ears off. So... I bid all of the rest of you do who have checked this out, and I will see you all on the next review in a couple of days. Goodbye.